Okay guys, in this video we will see how to add 3D text in Katia or any part design. So first go to part design, mm, name anything which you like, okay. I just put 3D text, okay. And uh, we have to make a simple uh, three dimensional path, okay. I just make a circular disk, so just making a circular sketch. Okay, click the workbench now. Apply pad so it will fill and make a ATMM thick disk. And on the top of the disk, I will write something in 3D. So, how? So, first you have to go to drafting, choose a blank page, and okay, uh, the image uh, the paper size is very large, so just reduce it. Okay, I take it as a B4 and okay. Now this is my black color boundary which represents the paper size so here just select a text editor and uh, type the text which you want to see in 3d click ok Now just copy that text and save as in DFX format, DXF sorry, yes, a little save, now open the file which you have saved in DXF, yeah, open it. Now you will see that uh, the same text which we right 3d text in a simple format now it is quite thick okay so we have to copy this text and paste it in part design window so first we will copy it and now select the top plane of that area and in sketcher window we are going to paste it now i paste it but uh, it seems it position very far away so I will use a translate option. Now I just translate it, uh, make sure to uncheck the duplicate option as you will create multiple copies of 3D text. So here I placed my 3D text written. Now its size is quite large so I will resize it or scale it to some lower. Okay, it seems fine. Now again I will translate it and put it at the center of the disk. Now I can make it little bit larger. So again I will resize it and try to make it oh, it seems fine. Okay. Now you can apply any 3D operation like pad or pocket. So I choose pocket and apply 40mm pocket. So here you can see it cuts that volume and now it seems perfectly as uh, some 3d text is imposed in that disk so hope you learn it if not then see the video again background click on rendered and here you can orient your three-dimensional model okay thank you so